the Navy Reserve Center in Cape Girardeau. After three years, authorities say they have finally located the body of 66-year-old retired school teacher Wilma Bricker. They did it with the help of an amateur fisherman who spotted a car under the water in the Mississippi River just south of the Alton Bell. Fox News' John Abel joins us now live from Alton with more. John? Well, it has been a long and uh, very frustrating search for Wilma Bricker. It uh, ended this uh, morning, shortly before noon, uh, and uh, after an investigation uh, into where the car might be located. Uh, the investigation, by the way, is still underway in this incident. Now, it was uh, on a cold, nasty day in March of 2002 when she disappeared. Uh, surveillance tape from the Alton Bell Casino showed she slipped uh, over, uh, slumped over in the driver's seat uh, as the car rolled into off the parking lot and into the water. Uh, she was about 100 yards south of that gaming boat. Now there is speculation that she might have suffered a heart attack or a stroke. It was uh, not until a week ago uh, that a fisherman called the Alton Fire Chief saying his electronic fish finder picked up an image that may be a car. That car was located this morning about 25 feet below the surface. It was finally uh, retrieved, pulled from that watery grave by a 40-ton crane uh, on a, a commercial towboat. Now, Alton Police Chief Chris uh, Sullivan says it is indeed uh, Wilma Bricker's car. He said an effort to make a positive ID of the body inside is still underway by the Madison County Coroner's Office. He spoke briefly with us just minutes ago. Process to the extent that that's available. W was the car pretty much intact, or were there any? Did the water do any damage to it? Well, obviously that vehicle had been down. Uh, the car was lost. Wilma Brecker was lost here on uh, March 19th of 2002. So it has been in the water for over three years and has suffered the effects of that. It was uh, fairly intact under the circumstance. Now, some of the windows, uh, we have been told, uh, were uh, broken out. Uh, not sure how that happened. Uh, Wilma Bricker uh, taught in the business department at Alton Senior High School. She spent 42 years in that teaching profession, retiring uh, just two years ago. Back to you. All right, John. Counselors were on hand today to help students deal with a field trip that turned into a nightmare yesterday. Now. Dangerous day on the road in St. Charles County. Two serious accidents. One was fatal. Investigators say a motorcycle rider was traveling northbound on Highway 90. A Godfrey, Illinois family is relieved. Their loved one's body is no longer at the bottom of the Mississippi River. As Fox News' Karina Collins shows us, a fisherman's determination turned out to be a grieving family's good fortune. Karina. Nancy, the Madison County coroner confirmed today the body inside the recovered car is in fact Wilma Bricker. Three years of worrying comes to a close as Wilma Bricker and her car are pulled from the bottom of the Mississippi. Well, anytime I was down at the river, I'd just look at the river and say, where are you? Just wishing and hoping that somehow we could just find her. And now the Bricker has been found, Kathy Stewart feels a sense of comfort, knowing her aunt will receive a proper burial. We can put her to rest where we can go and put flowers down and know where she is instead of not knowing. Stewart says she believes Bricker's car rolled into the river as she was pulling into the parking lot of the Alton Bell Casino. Eyewitnesses saw the event, but until now, the car couldn't be located. I didn't start out looking for the car. I started out learning how to use a new depth finder. Pro fisherman Dennis Waters captured a glimpse of the once missing car while learning a new and advanced fish finding device. If you went too far out in the river and imaged back in, the car was obscured or hidden by a huge chunk of concrete. After much determination and a little luck, Waters captured this image. We was able to uh, uh, actually fix a GPS location on the car good enough that the diver simply had to drop straight down on top of it. While family members feel a sense of relief knowing their loved one has been recovered from the river, they're still haunted with questions as to why this happened in the first place. I guess we're never really going to know how it happened. All we can do is assume that something really came over her and kept her from stopping the car. She certainly would want to be with us today, but in a way, she is back home.
Bricker died at the age of 66, two years after retiring. She was a teacher at Alton High School for 42 years.